How's it going everybody? My name is Tyrigus and welcome back to another crossout video. Now today's video will be more a talk about the new Clan Wars Leviathan mode rather than any specific gameplay. I'm just going to run some clips from the previous sessions that we have been running so far while we talk a little bit about what my thoughts are on this game mode and what I in general think about the introduction of a game mode like this to a competitive game and also just the current meta and all that stuff. I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think first of all, so please do watch the video and leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the game mode, the good and the bad, and kinda what you think of the entire situation with this. Have you played it yourself and like, what did it teach you? So the very, very first thing that I wanna get into with Leviathan Clan was is the fact that they have decided to reintroduce this game mode with at least in my opinion very very little evidence that people want this to back them up now i know that they ran a survey where they asked people do you want this game mode back and they were most amount of people who voted for yeah compared to nope and some of those voted yes we want that once a week couple times a week we want that all the time and all of those added up gave more than no we do not want it the thing about that survey that I don't really like back when they held it was the fact that everyone could answer it, at least as far as I remember. So even if you've never played Clan Wars, so if you just played Clan Wars one time or you just got into it and you but you didn't actually partake in the actual Leviathan Clan Wars last time it was tested, well, then you were still able to voice your opinion on the matter and you were still able to say, hey, I, I want this. And I mean, as far as all of the people that I've talked to, and here I literally mean all of the people that I talk to, have always been saying that they don't like it. And I mean, I talked to a lot of people who play Clan Wars, and it's just overwhelming to hear how many people don't like this game mode, and then they still decided to introduce it. Because we are, after all, the endgame players, and we are the people who may not bring in a million new players all the time, and I know that you got to bring in new people to your game in order to keep it alive like you want to grow the numbers so you have to provide content that new people like as well but when it comes to clan wars and the competitive side of this game i just feel like if you should listen to anyone then you should listen to the people who log in every day to play clan wars in this game and actually to enjoy clan wars and the competitive side of it because it is a competitive game mode and there are so many f factors to it that just makes it such a unique competitive game and one of those things that just cannot be aligned with competitiveness is auto aim and weapons that fire automatically with pretty much just aim but that's just in my opinion very very wrong and i don't think it's justified ever to implement that into a competitive game but we're going to talk more about that later because i just want to stick with the theme of us new players being or old players rather veterans being neglected a little bit in this game mode because i do think that it's it is an issue that we are kind of forgotten sometimes i almost want to i almost want to say i know that they are spending a lot of time trying to balance weapon and weapons and change a lot of weapons for the better when it comes to when it comes to clan wars so that these are more balanced out but Besides that, any new content to the end game is just so limited. And if you want to progress, then you kind of have to play Clan Wars and earn Uranium at this point. Now, the Uranium was changed quite a bit back when they made different zones or different brackets for how much Uranium you can earn. So if you're not Diamond, well, then you can only earn 90 and 60 and 40 and all that stuff with the scanner, that is. And... All in all, for the people who don't play in Diamond, well, they might still be playing a lot of games, but they just lose out on a lot of money. And right now, it is just a fact that it's super hard to get to Diamond because there's not a whole lot of people playing. So it's it, it it's it's very rare that you see more than 15 clans in in Diamond. It's even almost rare to see just 15 clans. So so there seems to be some sort of an imbalance there and that just kind of makes the game not very interesting once you once you get to this stage. And of course, introducing the Viathan Clan was, was a way of spicing things up. But I still just want to stress the fact that introducing the Viathans into Clan Wars 
at this stage was just altogether not a great idea because it, it has just completely obliterated the competitiveness of Leviathan Clan Wars. And competitiveness is kind of the next thing that I want to address because with the introduction of this Leviathan Clan Wars to Clan Wars, we now have a scenario where multiple times per week you can load up a build that one shots any regular build and besides that you also have aimbot pretty much and you have faster reloading speeds and you have destruction of pretty much anything you get close to okay unless it's the other leviathan and he kills you first and it is just an rng for the most part there is little control of what's going on at the moment this is also something to do with the new cockpit cabin that has been introduced the cockpit cabin was not a part of this the last time, so hovers, cricket hovers especially, was especially the most dominant ones. They are not as much anymore, but they are still definitely right up there together with the cockpit booster sausage builds. I don't even know what you want to call them. And altogether, this just makes things utterly stupid you have the new cockpit cabin and then if you slap on 15 20 boosters well then you sit there with 200 percent damage increase on your weapons this means that if you do that together with a bunch of triggers well then you'll be bursting four five six thousand damage per burst and then add on top of that we have the new reload perk for leviathan so which just means that the leviathan will be out, out putting completely absurd dps numbers at the end of the day and and like i said you one shot everything like if you drive close to a person with that leviathan with triggers and boosters then if it's a regular person you will always one shot them they don't stand a chance and you can't run from them either because these sausages just literally drive 200 kilometers an hour so you can just hope that the person crashes before he gets too close to you and kills you and I mean, I don't know if you guys think that's funny, but you, you're watching the content right now. If you think this is very interesting to watch, for me personally, it's not very interesting to stream. And another thing is just that it doesn't seem like my content enjoy or my community enjoys the content that uh, either when we are streaming this. I've never had as much feedback saying that it's a boring game mode to watch and that people don't really in general like watching it. And it also worries me as a content creator because I stream Clan Wars. That's kind of what I do when it comes to cross out. When, my, when I stream, it's because Clan Wars is on. And if I'm forced to play Leviathan Clan Wars and my viewers don't like it, well, then I'm going to have to sit through a session knowing that my viewers don't really like the streamed content. And then I have two choices. A is stop streaming cross out or B is streaming a thing that people don't like. That's, that's basically it. So I think the conclusion to this is just that... If, or it adds to the conclusion of me just not really being too positive about the game mode. Now I did address a bit also the fact that you have, as you can see from these images, you pretty much have what I would just call straight up aimbot and, and you have these absurd reload times and stuff and absurdly huge builds that are just in general hard to take down. If we took a competitive game mode like CSGO for example, you wouldn't slap in a huge boss into CSGO and make that boss carry 10 AVPs and, and, and 2 AK-47s and then he'd be able to always headshot because he shoots for the vital parts and he would also be able to carry 5 times the HP and 5 times the armor just to make sure that he doesn't die anytime soon and then you have the recipe for disaster pretty much in a CSGO game. Now the main reason that they didn't do this is simply just because it would take out any competitiveness of the game and leave it up to the RNG gods for the most of the time in how that all works out and I see it very much as the same here because people are super competitive in this game like I said so people want to fight for their positions and they want to play whatever is meta and you just cannot do that probably when you have a guy just derping around in in the game and just completely obliterating anything that gets close to him it just does not those two things does not add up and and work out that well it it just doesn't add up at all and you can again see from these images just just how how little you have to focus here you basically just have to drive back and forth and blow people up that's that's all you do and then you score a lot of points and you're on to the next game the general idea behind leviathan clan wars was great introducing these huge vehicles that don't really have any function besides just sending them to battle right now or fighting them where the ai drives them 
This new game mode has given us a very nice usage of them, but the fact that they use it in a competitive theme is just straight up wrong in my opinion. So, I mean, there are a million opportunities to just throw this into its own game mode and have some fun with it. So you don't have to be competitive about it and only see this because people want to win in seconds. But they just didn't grab the chance. They decided to go for the competitive route, which, yeah, still doesn't really make sense. But it is what it is, though. We had those team fights at some point where, where you could play best of three and you would play in a clan war setup where you would play, I think it was either... It was 4v4, I think. And that was sort of just what you could join up as and then you could team up and play as if it was clan wars, but without the rating. They had the perfect opportunity to implement that into this game mode, but they decided not to take it, which is a huge shame in my opinion. And in general, I wish that they would do that before throwing stuff like this into the competitive scene. Because while I do want more content for us and game players, I just don't want content to be based on this. Now, don't take this as if I'm hating on the game or, or the devs' decisions and stuff, but I, I, I really do feel like it's, it's some places we're not really being listened to still, and we are in general being listened to way more. You have seen all the stuff happening on, on my streams lately with me having access to way more content so that I can show that to you guys and we can kind of celebrate the fact that we are getting new stuff early. As well as even going as far as joining me on live streams, which is still one of my most humbling experiences as a content creator so far. The fact that I was able to sit there together with the devs and talk about the game. I mean, it was by far the best stream I've ever had, both stats wise, but also just on a personal level, because I truly enjoyed that. I, I really did. And it was amazing. So I still have huge respect for the people developing this game. It's nothing about that. And it's nothing about hating them or what they do, but it's more just about me really just hoping that the development of this game will, will will take into account that there are a lot of people behind this game the, behind the screen that are just so passionate about it and that our opinion really just also has to wait for something but do let me know in the comments what you think about this entire thing have you played this before do you want to play it do you like it do you not like it like i'm, I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think about it but that was all for me for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this and until next time, stay awesome. Bye bye.